Welcome back to TheGarageEngineer.com. I'm Dennis, and today we are going to be building a, a little oil device. What, what I need is I've got a nine-year-old lawnmower, and it's starting to overheat a little bit, and I wanted to get, uh, I don't know how the rings are doing in the uh, pistons, so what I wanted to try uh, some Marvel Mystery Oil and see if that helps. But to get the oil actually into the crankcase, uh, by taking out the spark plug, I needed some way to deliver that. And I could put it in a little bottle and squirt it in, but I wanted a little bit more precision so I can get it way in the back so we can get it all the way around the piston. So, let me show you what, what I've got. So these are the items that we will be using today. We've got a little uh, squirt bottle. Uh, we got some fuel line. And this is the Marvel Mystery Oil that we're going to be putting in the bottle. Now, the squeeze bottle itself I got at Hobby Lobby. I'll see if I can find an Amazon link for it. It actually was used for uh, tie-dyeing kits, and I just got the actual bottle. The reason why I got this bottle is because the uh, type of plastic it is, I can't read it right now, was uh, perfect for CA glue because I wanted uh, a way to put the bottle that CA glue comes in from the uh, supplier, it gets crudded up and it's not very good and it dries out and I'll keep opening it. So I wanted some place to distribute it and this plastic doesn't stick to CA glue so th that's why I originally got it and then I thought of this project also. You, I went to the lawn care section of Home Depot and they had two foot of line, one big diameter, one small diameter for like, it was like four or five dollars. And, but then I went to the plumbing section looking for other pipe to buy it by the foot and came across this. Sorry, this is 10 feet for, uh, I think, $4. And this says it is 10 foot micro fuel line. So I'm assuming it's the same thing. I don't know why in the plumbing section there's fuel line, but uh, it's definitely cheaper. And this is actually the size. I wanted a small diameter. This diameter, uh, let's see, outside diameter is 3 sixteenths of an inch and inside is... 3.30 seconds and I wanted something small so that I could uh, so there's not going to be a lot of oil sitting in the uh, tube because I'm going to make it somewhat long well not too long but something like that so let me get a knife here so I got my trusty side cutters here we're going to cut off a little bit mm. say right about here there you go. Put a nice little angle on it for distribution. And here is going to be, I'm going to cut this off. It's kind of sticky. So I'm just going to cut that straight. This is going to go on the actual body side, uh, bottle side of it. And this bottle comes pre-closed uh, up, so you got to cut it yourself. So we are going to cut it. There we go. Now this, just sliding it on, you get probably quarter inch down. But I'm, I'm going to go a little bit farther, so what we're going to do is get the heat gun. We're going to heat it up and then slide it over. Don't go too far, it's going to melt it. But uh, we want to heat it up just enough. So first, let's plug it in. Now this bottle would be good to use also for compression testing. Uh, if you want to do a wet compression test, you could put oil in here or even use Marvel Mystery Oil and stick it into the... Uh, uh, spark plug hole and this way you can just just stick the uh, pipe into the spark plug hole and then squeeze the bottle and distribute how much oil you want I do have an oil can which I use which is fine but I wanted to have this so I can have multiple types of uh, oils in different cans because my oil can can only hold one type without having to dump it out and clean it and all that so this is gonna uh, I can mark it and then we'll we can have it free, free to use so we're going to heat this up. And let's, we're getting it pliable here. Stick it on. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm. So we're sticking it on here. There you go. That should be good. Now we're about, let's say about a half inch. Uh, on. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to add a little bit of RTV. So this is from another project I was doing. This is just Ultra Gray Gasket Maker. Um, I just need a little bit, and we're just going to put it around the outside of it. 
too much. There we go. This stuff is good, but it just gets everywhere. And you could put a little silicone on the inside of it, I guess, and then slide it down. However you prefer. This is not really a necessary step, but we're experimenting here, so... Perfect. All right. Just glob it on. All right. We'll let that dry just for a little bit. And we'll fill it up. I'm just going to mark this while we're waiting for this to dry. So we're going to take this off here. Let that dry. And I've got my Rev mar marker. Now, I'm, I grew up as a Sharpie man because uh, that's all we really had until I found RevMark. Um, they're not a sponsor, but they are amazing. They really mark on everything, and uh, they they work a lot better than Sharpies. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to, I don't know, we'll just put marble. All right, Marvel Mystery Oil. There we go. All right, so while we're still waiting for that to dry, put some, up. fill this up. Perfect. All right, let's go over to the lawnmower and get the spark plug out. Here's the old lawnmower. Uh, I've had her for about nine years. She's probably a little older than that. It's a simplicity. Uh, I think 16 horsepower. It it cuts for me about for all the nine years. Uh, probably about two two acres, two and a half acres a week during the cutting season. And she's getting pretty, she starts, she doesn't overheat, but she, when she gets hot, she starts cutting out. So hope, maybe this will help. I don't know. We'll have to check it out. So pull up the spark plug. See, it's way down in there. So that's why I'm hoping the oil will help a little bit. Or the, the pipe. I'm going to put some in, let it soak, and then we'll come crank it up a little later this afternoon. She's not too bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let me get our oil here. Guess I should have waited. Alright, so let's get the line in there. Should be good. And we're going to put some in the gas tank also. It says about a ha half an ounce to an ounce in the fuel line. And that's about a half, three quarters in there. Alright, we'll let that sit, and we'll crank it up uh, in a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and get the spark plug back in there. I like to do it by hand, so it doesn't cross thread. Get it hand tight. And then with this, there's no set. I mean, there probably is some torque spec, but I just like to give it just a little bit. It doesn't have to be tight. Cover it. Man, that's deep in there. Hold on a second. Another great tool I found are these uh, hose. I don't know what they're called, but you wrap them around your hose and that you can wiggle them off when they're... Um, when you got like a, fuel, uh, a radiator line, they make different sizes. This is for fuel lines, but they make bigger ones for radiators. 
and you just clamp it on and you can wiggle it because they always get stuck and pull it off rather than trying to push something underneath and scratching uh, whatever the tube is. Um, this works really well and it also has other purposes of grabbing things um, that you can't reach. Pretty handy. I normally add a little bit of dielectric grease, but I checked in here and it had some left over from last time, so uh, I'm not too worried about that. Let's make sure this is on. I don't hear it click, but it should be on. Alright, we'll let that sit. We'll crank it up in a little bit. Well, after doing uh, cutting around the house, the engine didn't blow up, so I guess Marvel Mystery is good on that part. I won't know until deep summer when I'm doing the backyard for like two hours and when the engine starts overheating, when it starts uh, running for a long time. Then we'll see if that helps. I'll add some more in the fuel as we go and see if that helps lubricate things and make it run a little smoother and maybe a little cooler. But other than that, uh, I guess scientifically there's no way to test it, but... From the test of cutting it, it, it works, so uh, let me know what you think. See you next time.